if something is feeling really hard for you right now and you're in this stage where you're thinking, how will I ever learn this? How will I ever do this? Like, I don't even know what the first step is. I wanted to come on here and talk about this because I think we, so many of us, especially the past couple of years, have been in this phase of, I don't even know how I'm going to ever learn this. We've had to learn how to navigate this new life that we're living, how to do business differently, how to do life differently, learning new things. We've had to make shifts that we weren't really ready to shift into. So we're in this like stage of overwhelm. What I want you to remember when you're learning something new is that it won't stay hard forever. The hard is temporary. The hard is only hard while you're in these very, very normal stages of learning. And I thought that this share today might help you to see what stage you're at so you can give yourself some much needed grace and release that pressure valve of just knowing that you're in a very natural stage of learning. We all go through these stages in life and the reason why is because we everything that we do has a first time that we do it. It doesn't matter what we do in life. Your first walk, your first time eating new foods, your first time trying something new, the first time you date someone, the first time you, your first job, the first course you've ever taken, like everything has a first, that first project. Everything goes through those stages of learning and we always typically start out overwhelmed because we wanna be the master at it right away. But the thing is we can't become masters until we go through these stages. So stage one of learning is I don't know what I don't know. This is a really frustrating phase because you don't even know what it is that you need to do because you don't know anything that's involved with this new thing that you're learning. This is where you're in the unknown where you're learning a new skill or strengthening a new strength that you or working on a new project that you've never even done before or creating something new for the first time, learning something new for the first time. You don't know where to begin. So you start to really just start at the beginning, ask those questions, do your research, read the books, listen to the podcast, just start collecting all of the data so that you can get over to the next stage, which is stage two. Stage two can also feel really overwhelming, but again, temporary. This is the stage of I'm very aware of what I didn't know in stage one. Now I know all the things that I need to that I need to do. I now know all the courses I need to take. I now know all the tasks I have to do. I now know all the things I need to buy. I now know all the skills I need to master, all the things I need to, you know, work on strengthening. And in this phase, is where so many of us give up. And I know I've given up in this phase because it gets so overwhelming. Having that whole list of all the things that you now need to you know, do and master can feel really overwhelming. But again, don't give up here because it does get easier, I promise. The hard is temporary. And I can say that with confidence because especially the oh my God, the past 10 years for sure, but the past two years navigating all of the changes that I've had to make in my business because of the pandemic, I've had to do so many things that I didn't know how to do. And I was so frustrated, so overwhelmed. There were so many tears, so many like angry moments of, oh my God, wanting to pull my hair out. And then when I got to the other side, I realized that it was so temporary. That like feeling of this is going to be hard forever, that forever wasn't actually forever. The forever was relative to how long it took me to learn that new skill. The heart is temporary. And then over time, we enter into stage three. And there's so many areas and things that I've learned the past couple of years that I'm now at this stage. And of course, we go back to stage one when we're learning something new and something else, you know, gets thrown at us. But stage three is so magical. Now I know it. That's it, now I know it. You have the skills and you know exactly what to expect. This last stage is the most magical of stages because all of that pressure is released. All of that overwhelm is gone. You also have the knowingness of oh, it was temporary and you have that confidence that oh, I did that, I got through that, I learned that, I did what, it, what I needed to do and what it took to 
master this thing that I was trying to learn. You have the skills, you know what to expect, you know exactly what to do all the time. So basically, um, this is where your subconscious brain kicks in and you're in this like consistent habitual flow, right? You just like, without even having to give it any thought, you know, okay, step one, step two, step three, step four, step five. These are the actions I need to take. These are the people that I need to call. You make those lists and it all feels really easy. Just think of this phase like when you're driving home and you know that route so well that you don't even have to think about it. You just end up back home and you're like, oh wow, I'm already home. This is the mastery phase. It no longer feels like uncharted waters. You now feel like the expert who could actually now teach it to someone else. It's such a beautiful phase, but you can't get to that phase without going through all of the other stages. And then you repeat that for every new task or skill, or even just learning how to navigate uncharted waters like we have been experiencing the past couple of years. So when something new comes up again, you go back to stage one, you work your way through stage two, you work your way to stage three, and you master it again, and then you just repeat. That's life. It's not always easy, um, sometimes it's really hard, sometimes it feels really overwhelming, but I promise you it is temporary. I wanted to share this with all of you today because I know that so many of you, as you enter into this new year, as I record this, it's January 6, 2022, have set some new goals for yourself. There's new things that you wanna learn, new things that you wanna tackle, new projects that you wanna work on, and you might be feeling a little bit overwhelmed as you step into that stage one if you're in stage one. Just know that it is very normal to get there. You don't start anything as a master, as an expert, and give yourself some grace. Be patient with yourself, be kind to yourself, be compassionate with yourself and release some of that pressure that you're putting on yourselves right now. There is enough stuff to worry about in life. This is not one of those things that we need to be hard on ourselves about. So as you navigate your way through this year, these new goals that you've set for yourself, these new projects that you wanna work on, just give yourself some much needed grace. You will get there. The hard is not forever. The hard is temporary. I promise you.